going to be doing a astronaut gear that looks something like this, isn't it? Doesn't it look very awesome? So there are three parts to this gear. The first part would be the backing. The second part would be the two aluminum bottles here. And the last part, we're going to add in all the construction papers, the cutouts to form the entire astronaut gear. Okay, so first up, we're going to start with the base. Now you would want to look out for cardboards like this. I actually recycled from my laptop box. So I actually cut it out into a, a rectangular piece like this. And also depending on how old your child is, if your child is two years old, this is a perfect size. If your child is slightly bigger, then you might want to have a bigger backing for this. Okay, so once when I cut out the backing into a rectangular size, I am going to punch four holes at each corner. Okay, so first thing you need is a backing, a cardboard, a recycled cardboard. Second of all that you need would be a hole puncher to actually punch four holes over here. And the third thing that you will need to complete the backing would be a strap. Okay, and I'm going to slot this in. We're going to tie knots. Some of you might be really wondering what is the measurement of the strap that I have in my hands. All of the all of the measurement can vary. It would be best if you actually have a child and you actually put it around. Uh, the arm to actually measure how how big it is so that you can cut accordingly. Okay, so this one side is done like this. Okay, and so yep, we are done with the backing. That is part one. So part two, we're going to need two exact same bottles okay so i've recycled this jasmine green tea bottle and i've also prepared one that's already done so we need two bottles like this all near four um double-sided tape and masking tape so let's focus on this bottle here we're going to wrap this bottle up with the all near foil at the end of the day you will need to actually wrap up the bottle and leave the top open. At the bottom, it has to be wrapped up too. So I'll only measure it and cut out my aluminium here. Alright, it's actually just nice. If you actually look at it, the length is almost slightly bigger so that I can actually wrap the bottom and slightly towards the top. Okay, I'm going to take my masking tape. Now, aluminium foil has two sides. The matte side would be the one that is inside the bottle. That means we'll be having a shiny side on the outer layer. Okay, so I'm going to just get this, paste and secure this. Okay, so once I'm going to paste the masking tape to secure this area, I'm going to paste double solid tape on the other edge. So at this point now, you will want to actually wrap everything out and use a little bit of pressure to actually press the aluminium foil so that you can get the very nice shape of the bottle. Ensuring that all is wrapped up and only this area is open, the top part is open. And there you have it, we have the second part of our bottle done. Now the third part will be all the construction papers that we are going to create. So first things first, we are going to cut out three strips of paper like this. One, two, and three. Now where does these stri three strips of paper come from? It's actually one piece of A4 paper like this. So the measurement of the A4 paper on this side will be 21 cm, so you divide it by three. So once when you have your three strips of paper, okay, we're going to take them together. So it becomes a very long strip like this. Okay, and I'm going to put this away for the time being. Next thing we would want to do is the fire. Um, you might want to prepare a yellow piece of paper, A4 size, and an orange like this. Because eventually we're going to divide it into two. 
Okay, so you're going to be creating this one big flame, one small flame, so that when you put it down like this, there will be a very nice contrast. So this will be actually pasted at the bottom of the bottle. Now how do you draw that? Again, I did it free-handedly, so there's no specific measurements to this. It's really just, um, you can Google up on images on flames, and then you can just draw it from there. And then you can cut it up. Okay, so it will look like this. Take note also that we need to have this piece over here. Okay, because this is the piece that we will be slotting it into the bottle to paste it down. And then you're going to paste. You're going to paste a small flame over the big flame. Okay, and you have your two flames. Last but not least, you can actually, up to you, if you have a favorite example, a marble character, you can actually cut out um, templates like this, a lightning, a star, or you can have Captain America, whichever you want, okay, all in the A4 size. This is all in the A4 size, okay, A4 size. And now we're ready to assemble everything that we have prepared so far. I'm going to bring up my base, and what we're going to do here is we're going to be pasting the two bottles on top of the base, like this. I'm going to actually be using my masking tape. Pasting one here. Right down, make sure to aim properly. There. Okay. okay. One at the top here, like this. This. So that's the bottle. Now, this is where the constructions will start coming in. And a little strip of paper here. We're going to paste it right at the middle here. Okay, this is to actually fill it. Further um, secure the bottle so that it doesn't shake too much. So this will come in really, really handy. So we're gonna paste this here the cool to make sure that it's tight. So it's gonna be very long, so I'm gonna be cutting it away. Really. Here, do it again. I'm just going to check the front. And paste it down there. Okay, and then I'm going to paste my lightning bolt. And the last step, we will be pasting our fire. So these two knobs here will be the one that is going to be slot into the bottle holes. Okay. Anywhere that is not secure, I'm just going to paste a tape to make sure it's and there you have it. Astronaut pack. Astronaut gear.